Hello and welcome to another Magnus video. In this video, I thought I'd go over some more reasons why, if you're thinking of adopting or getting a dog, you should consider getting a Greyhound. These elegant, sophisticated, charming, loving, great dogs are fantastic as pets. So here's my reasons why you should consider getting a Greyhound. Greyhounds make great apartment dogs. Greyhounds are big dogs, there's no getting away from that. But you don't need to have a big house, you don't need to live in a mansion in order to have a Greyhound. You don't even have to have a large garden to run around in. That is not required. Greyhounds spend most of their racing career living in kennels or in crates, so even a small studio apartment seems big in comparison. All we need basically is a couple of beds for them to lie down in because they do sleep a lot. Greyhounds can sleep up to 20 hours a day, so that's lots of lying around, lots of snoozing, lots of napping, and lots of dreaming. If they're not doing that, they're perhaps just lounging in one of their beds. And if they're not that, they're probably up and about looking for some snacks or some treats. Want a bit of fish, Magnus? Here you go. Yeah. Is that good, Magnus? Yeah. Okay, if they're not eating, sleeping, they're perhaps spying on the neighbours. They do like a little bit of neighbourhood watch. Or perhaps playing with one of their toys. This is Magnus, one of his treat snakes, looking for some treats. Anything in there? Nope, it's all empty. So again, greyhounds don't need large apartments. They are big dogs, but they curl up really small. And again, they're going to spend most of the day sleeping, so you're not going to trip over them. And they're not running around the house like crazy. So they do nap a lot, do sleep a lot, but they are great apartment dogs. Another common misconception about greyhounds is to do with walkies and exercise. People think greyhounds need lots and lots of exercise and they're going to run everywhere! Slow down Magnus, slow down! We're actually running there. But greyhounds are very, very gentle at walking. Some do pull a little bit more, but most of them have been trained at the race tacks to walk gently on leads. So it's basically generally a slow affair with them sniffing and smelling lots of things, or sniffaries as they're sometimes called. But you can see it's very easy for walking Magnus here. He does stop at the curbside, and when I say come, he will continue to walk across the road. So you can see the lead is very slack here. Magnus is not pulling at me. If he sees a cat or a squirrel, that might change, but right now you can see it's very easy to walk. So to make great companions for walking, very easy, very gentle stroll here. Again, the lead is slack the whole time, so he's very, very easy to walk, and, and no problems there. Greyhounds are also very striking dogs, so whenever you're out, they always get lots of attention from people. Passers-by will stop and ask you questions about the Greyhound, usually if they raced and were they fast. But Greyhounds are great dogs, very nice taking them out for a walk, very striking, very elegant, and very good for walking. Again, all you need basically, exercise-wise, is about three 20-minute walks per day. You can do longer, uh, some dogs are older, don't even need that much. That's sort of all they need as far as exercise each day. As long as they're getting toilet breaks to have these walks, they are all good. Again, a occasional little run is nice for them too. Greyhounds are calm and quiet dogs. They're not loud, noisy, barky, yappy dogs, although there are some exceptions, but generally greyhounds spend most time in the house lounging and sleeping. They will get excited if it's time for walkies or time for food, but the rest of the time they're lounging and sleeping all over the house. I cannot overstate how much these dogs sleep. The only thing I'll really get them up again is walkies and perhaps some food, but as soon as they've had their food or their walk, it's back down for another little nap. So they sleep lots. So having beds all the house is a good idea because they do sleep a lot and they will move from bed to bed to sleep. So I've put lots of clips in here just to show how much they do sleep. But they are great dogs. The only thing that seems to get them up from a nap or a snooze, again, is the sound of you in the kitchen making some food and then they're up like a shot to find out what's happening and where's their share. But they are quiet dogs, which makes them again great for apartments because you're not disturbing neighbors with dogs that are barking like crazy or running all over the house they are snoozing and napping 
for most of the days. They're great dogs as far as your companions if you're at home, just to relax by your side and watch them looking cute as they sleep. Isn't that right, Magnus? Yeah. Watching a greyhound run is an amazing experience. It's quite a sight to behold to see your loving pet run past you, inches by your side at 45 miles per hour. It's quite a sight. They are really, really fast and they do love to run. So I'll try to find nice and lots of safe places for mags to run safely without any worry about traffic, pedestrians or anything getting in his way. We take the park on several occasions and sometimes he'll go there and he has no interest in running whatsoever. But when he does, he really goes at it. They'll usually run for about two or three minutes and then usually done, they spend the rest of the time just sniffing the plants or just walking or strolling around. But watching them run is truly a sight to behold. Another great thing about greyhounds is their fun. They're not just sleeping around all day, every day and being very boring, quiet dogs. They have got lots and lots of personalities and they are very quirky and very, very goofy and very clumsy. And they have these little bursts of energy. We do some daft stuff that makes you laugh and it is very, very entertaining. So if you're feeling down, these little clowns can bring a smile to your face almost instantaneously with their goofiness. Isn't that right, Magnus? Yep. My for example, loves the snow and goes absolutely crazy when it's snowing outside. Always likes to bounce around the garden, even catching things like snowballs. But he's all a big smell on his face and he's a very happy chap. As you can imagine, greyhounds aren't the best at housekeeping. Here's Scout trying to fix her bed, which was nice and neat, but wasn't quite right for her. Right spot, Scout. Now you give up. Okay. All right, Magnus, you're getting up. Here's a treat. Yeah, let me help with that duvet, Magnus. Come on, here you go. Well, they're not just goofy, they can be smart too. Magnus Magnus figured out how to get his ball from under there, which is quite clever of them. And it's always great to take Magnus out and about to new places. Here you can see Magnus' first time seeing a robot lawnmower, and he was amazed by the thing. Magnus is watching the robot. Just a robot, buddy. Okay. That's it. Come on, buddy, watch your head.
One unexpected benefit of having a Greyhound is the Greyhound community. There's a great support network out there for you as a Greyhound or a newly adopted Greyhound owner. There's lots of groups on Facebook and lots of forums that you can join and be part of and share the fun stories and trials and tribulations of having a Greyhound. But there's also lots of groups we can go and meet up for walks and events that you can go to as well. In our area, there's the Greyhound Trust Edinburgh and they do walks on Sundays, which you can go along to. They also host events like the Greyhound Gathering where they have competitions and events for your Greyhounds. There's a great bunch of people out there in person and online to support you whilst having a Greyhound. Another fun thing about greyhounds is watching them sleep. They sleep in all the craziest places, half on their beds, half on the floor. They also do this fun thing called roaching where they sleep with their legs in the air and it's always a fun sight to see. So here's a few clips of Magnus roaching. One of the best things about greyhounds is their temperament. These are gentle giants. They're very loving, very affectionate, and make great pets. Some dogs, when they want to show affection, jump on you and lick you in the face. This is not the greyhound way. Greyhounds are more likely to come in close, lead on you, 
and basically make contact and look for some pets and rubs. They're very gentle, very calm, soothing dogs, and they make great thera pets. They're also great for families as well. So can't recommend these dogs highly enough. Very affectionate, very loving, and just great dogs. Well, that's my reasons why you should consider getting a Greyhound. But I'll leave you with one little thought by Paul Stockdale. There are as many reasons to own a Greyhound as there are stars in the night sky, but soon we'll run out of stars.